So if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Psalms chapter 51. Psalms chapter 51. I'm going to read one verse, verse number 12. It says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. We'll stop right there. My thought tonight is literally, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. If I'm not mistaken, this would have been David's request shortly after that he had lain with Bathsheba, after that he had basically had her husband killed because he got her pregnant and he wanted to get everything covered up. He was ashamed of what he had done after the fact, but at the time, he was just wanting to cover up whatever sin he had. He didn't care about what lies that it would cost. He didn't care that this man was a soldier. He was a man of character. He had more character than a lot of men do. And even today, I know this past year, it's been a crazy one. There are some of us, we've, uh, some might say that they've had the best year that they've ever had in a long time. Or some might even be saying that they're having a very bad year, but the simple fact is there's people struggling. There's people struggling not just physically, but even spiritually. This time last year, where was we? Yeah. We was in God's house every week. We was, for every service, I have no doubt in my mind, we was probably praying the way we should have. We was probably reading God's Word the way that we needed to. We was having fellowship with believers the way we needed to. We was doing things that we know that we should have been doing already. But this year, it's kind of thrown a monkey wrench in the middle of it. It's kicked us out of churches. There's so many churches out there, they're still struggling. They're not able to pay the bills the way they need to. There's missionaries out there. They're not able to go out and go preach the Word like they used to. They're not able to go to the prisons, go to the detention centers, go to the just the ministries in general. People are struggling today spiritually probably more than they have in a long time. First, I'm going to look at the restoration. It says, unto, says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. We can see he wanted to be restored. He wanted to be brought back to where he was at the before it's defined as to replace to return a person or thing to a former place he knew that he had fallen each and every day we're going to come across a crossroads we've got to realize something are we going backwards or are we going forwards are we striving to live lives better for the lord or are we going backwards are we getting out of the prayer clause are we quitting reading the word of god the way we used to are we just our minds is it going backwards or is our minds going back to what the things that we used to think about or are we trying to actually keep our minds focused on the Lord Jesus Christ we can see he also had a personal relationship with the Lord says unto me that's very specific that was personal do we have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ I sure hope that you do I'm sure that he uh, his mind probably would have went back to the previous victories that he would have had his Mine probably would have went to the peace that he used to have with the Lord before he had fallen into a sin. We know that he had a great relationship with the Lord previously, but after this, it's almost like his relationship with the Lord just kept going downhill further and further. His family started basically going after each other, the murder in his family, the incest, the, just everything. His son's even going after him, trying to take the throne. Even us today, where are we sitting today? We're not in God's house as often as we used to be. Even myself, I've not been praying the way I used to. I've not been doing so many things that I used to. I missed the detention center. I missed the, the ministries. We've been kicked out, so you know that they're struggling too just as much. They're not hearing the preaching the way they used to. We're not hearing about souls getting saved much anymore. We're not even hearing about People devoting their lives to the Lord anymore. We're not hearing about revivals. Well, I want to see the Lord restore that. Right. Amen. And his request. He had a desire for the Lord to give him joy the way that he had once had it. He wanted to have that peace of mind. He wanted to... There's no greater feeling than realizing that your sins are forgiven. And there's nothing that can be done to uncover that sin. Sure, you might have somebody try to come and remind you, but once it's under the blood, it's under the blood. We can have joy because of our salvation. Right. When's the last time you truly had joy because you're saved? When's the last time you got excited knowing that 
He took a step out of heaven for each and every one of us. He was willing to sacrifice the glories and the splendors of heaven, come down and live a perfect, sinless life so that each and every one of us could be saved. Amen. He gave us so many opportunities. He made salvation so simple. Romans 10, 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And verse 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When's the last time that you gave somebody a gospel track? I know it doesn't sound like much, but I've been trying to think back and the last time somebody gave me a gospel track, I dare say it's probably been years since somebody's took the step out. It's like, hey, can I give you a little something to read? Just a little something of encouragement. It's like we've gotten complacent. We've gotten in a backslidden state that it's almost like we just don't care anymore. The simple fact is people are still dying and going to hell each and every day. Yes. The fact is... The Lord's still calling preachers into the ministry. How are we going to live this next year? I know it's only a couple days away. We still got to remember that God's still on the throne. He's not lost any power. And I have no doubt in my mind, He still wants us to find the perfect will of God in our lives. I want to see the Lord bring us back to where we once was. Not being complacent. I want to see the doors get opened in God's house. Because like I said... There's churches, they're still not open today, and it's, it's sad right. to realize the spiritual condition that we're getting in. I don't want to see it get worse. Right. But we've got to turn our faces to the Lord. I hope the Lord will restore unto us the joy of our salvation. Amen. As you bow your head and close your eyes.